today topic of discussion is cell adaptation human body top to bottom that is head to toe made up of cells so what is cells cells are structural and functional unit of tissue and organs normal cells have a fairly narrow range of function or steady state that is homeostasis homeostasis what is homeostasis cells have different structure and performing different function uh, say for example just the cells of that brain it is special functions for memory uh, so memory means concentration uh, then salivary gland the cells of salivary gland the main function is uh, they do secretion special function here secretion then bone marrow they are divided and performing wbc rbc and platelet so all the cells some different structure performing different function this one name is called as homeo state says homeo status now this is the cell a uh, whenever any stress whenever any stress it may be physiological or pathological stress will come three things will happen one is uh, that cellular changes okay cell changes the structure that name is called as cellular adaptation three things happen to overcome that stress the cell Uh, do some changes in the structure that name is called as cell adaptation in order to survey cells is doing that for survival uh, functions the cell doing adaptation if the cell if the stress again continue second things the cell will do that name is called as injury okay so cell injury will takes place it having two types reversible cell injury again that a cell continue that stress third and last stage irreversible cell injury it also called that name have that name cell death so whenever stress will come to the cell it may be physiological condition or pathological condition first the cell for survival they will do some changes that name is called as adaptation again stress will continue means cell injury two type of injury reversible again uh, uh, the stress will continue means irreversible cell injury that name is called as cell death two type of cell death will happen one is apoptosis second one is necrosis cell death Uh, have another name irreversible cell injury two type of cell death apoptosis and necrosis so cell injury irreversible cell injury at the point uh, okay some point of time no return ir after that it leads to irreversible cell injury that uh, that have another name cell death so before this point before this point everything is reversible only but after this some point of time reversible takes place so it is called as point of no return so between reversible and irreversible cell injury this place name is called point of no return so here we want to discuss cell adaptation whenever stress will come for uh, cell will do adaptation adaptation uh, this one is how we will define it is a reversible cell injury though so here structural changes due to physiological or pathological stress uh, in order to achieve uh, new steady state that means disturb homeostasis by stress then it allowing the cell it allowing the cell to survive and continue the function so adaptation is the reversible cell injury functional and uh, structural response to physiological condition physiological condition example pregnancy or pathological condition due to some disorders 
during which new but altered steady state are achieved allowing the cell survive and continue their function so uh, five different type of adaptation whenever uh, that stress will affected that cell it having five different type of adaptation first one is hypertrophy trophy means increases in size of that cell hyperplasia hyper increases plasia means in number atrophy here decreases size okay size and number of the cell here decreases or shrinkage of that cell then metaplasia metaplasia means transformation or replacement adult cell type one type of adult cell type is converted into another type of cell type okay here replacement after that dysplasia this one means disorder cellular development so five type of adaptation hypertrophy increases size hyperplasia increases number atrophy decrease in size metaplasia uh, it will transform one type of cell to another type of cell then dysplasia disordered cellular development so see here this diagram this one is the normal cells whenever stress will come it may be increases in size hypertrophy here increases in number hyperplasia here decreases in size and size so atrophy here one type of cell uh, here one type of cell is converted into another type of cell metaplasia here disorder cellular development dysplasia we will discuss all the things in detail so normal cell hypertrophy increases in size this one normal cell hypertrophy increases in number atrophy normal cell decreases in size here one type of cell is converted into another type here uh, disordered cellular development free malignant it will converted into tumor cells first type name is called as hypertrophy hypertrophy means increases in size or uh, not in number here increase in the size of the cell not in number of the cells leading to increases in the size of that organ so leading to increases that size of organ see here this one is the normal cell whenever stress will come it may be physiological condition or pathological condition here increases in size uh, what is the mechanism why increasing in uh, cell uh, here why increasing in cell size means here uh, this one uh, increases in size is not due to cellular swelling here not cellular swelling uh, it is due to more structural component or cellular protein say for example here three mitochondria presented means here five here five uh, endoplasmic reticulum presented means here seven here three ribosome means here five like that cellular component size increases or protein level increases that reason only increasing in size here not cellular swelling it is the mechanism so next one is types there are two type of hypertrophy uh, whether it may be physiological condition or it may be pathological condition then pregnancy of uterus this one is common for hypertrophy and hyperplasia because both condition increasing in size also increasing in number also will happen here here this one pathological condition hypertrophy of cardio cardiac muscles this one occur in systemic hypertension or aortic valve diseases aortic valve diseases it will happen that pathological condition hypertrophy uh, this is complete cycle if there is aortic valve disease or systemic hypertension what will happen 
all blood will move to iota all blood will move to iota but there is problem in aortic valve it is not unable to move blood okay move iota there is stress to left ventricular so what left ventricular is will do here left ventricular increase increase the thickness of that wall increase the thickness of that wall so increase size inside increase size inside so more pressure to systole for vigorous contraction so more blood will go so more blood will go there is structural adaptation left ventricular doing this is known as left ventricular left ventricular hypertrophy which is seen in aortic valve diseases so this is known as left ventricular uh, hypertrophy which is seen in aortic valve disease now coming to smooth muscles hypertrophy of smooth muscles aplasia so here aplasia uh, example cardiac aplasia in esophagus then pyloric stenosis pyloric stenosis in stomach muscular arteries in hypertension what is cardiac aplasia what is cardiac aplasia okay normally this is the sphincter okay this one is the sphincter whenever food will come through esophagus it opened it transmit uh, food from esophagus to stomach this one is the stomach when it uh, it is opening when it have okay when it will opening that time only food material will uh, will come here so here disease that disease name is called as eclesia so it flows permanently so here because of diseased condition it flows permanently whenever food will come here it cannot move to that stomach food cannot move to stomach food not move uh, move here so in this disease so what will happen the wall of esophagus thick thick and thick so here it become thick uh, to that vigorous to put push here so here because they want to put foot here so here truss this is known as eclesia this condition name is called as eclesia so normally sphincter here okay normally closed whenever food will come that time it will open and transmitted food from esophagus to stomach when it have disease eclesia lower esophageal sphincter closed permanently food not move so here because of diseased condition eclesia here food not move so here uh, disease is the truss so it causes high so eclesia next one is hypertrophy of skeletal muscles hypertrophy in skeletal muscles in athlete or manual labors okay they have triceps and biceps triceps or biceps uh, and comparing to normal person who who will go to gym gym okay they get triceps or biceps here because of hypertrophy morphological features the organ is enlarged then increase in size of cell due to increase synthesis of dna rna and increased protein synthesis and increased number of organelles such as mitochondria endoplasmic reticulum and my myo fibrils and cellular adaptation name is called hyperplasia increase in number of cell 
not in size of cell resulting in enlargement of organ or tissue this one seen in tissue made up of liable cell and stable cells not in permanent cell they can divided okay basically we have three type of cell liable cell what is liable cells uh, those cells are continuously divided for example cells of our mucosa cells of our bone marrow which continuously divided for example from rbc wbc platelet cells of uh, that intestinal lining cells of skin from hematopoietic stem cells which continuously divided that type of cell name is called this liable cells they divided they do mitosis and they will do cell division so they divided second type of cell name is called as stable cells when we will reach to adult life once we reach to adult life they do not divided before they divided Uh, like life uh, the cells of our liver cells of our kidney once they adult life they reached they do not divided but if any injury takes place um, that injured is okay injury occur in liver or kidney they have capability to cell, do cell division so this type of cell name is called as stable cells liable cell continuous continuously divided uh, stable cells once reached adult life not divided but once we have any injury it can divided but last type of cell permanent uh, uh, cells okay permanent cells of heart cardiocytes and cells of brain neuron these two organ have permanent cells or terminal cells they do not divided okay so neither normal also we have any injury also once the person have myocardial infarction or stroke any injury is happening even after injury the damage is permanent and healing do not takes place that name is called as uh, permanent cells so three type of cell liable cell means division okay they divided and divided stable cells once we reached adult life not divided but we have any injury it can divided but permanent cells we have injury also not divided so it is presented in heart and neuron three type of cells but here hyperplasia in this condition they divided so they may or may not be seen together hypertrophy and hyperplasia okay may or may not be seen together with hypertrophy see this diagram this one is the normal cells when uh, stress will come it may be physiological condition or pathological condition here adaptation takes place here Uh, size similar but uh, number increasing okay size same size only but uh, number only increasing whenever stress will come physiological condition or pathological condition cell adaptation adapting increases in number what is the mechanism here uh, increasing growth uh, that fragment and growth receptor how it will increasing uh, so this one is the growth receptor this one is the growth uh, that fragment cells will increase number growth receptor on its surface so it will increasing growth receptor on its surface because of uh, the dress okay uh, it produce more number of growth receptor normally it having to whenever dress will come it producing 20 20 receptor whenever growth factor will come and bind with growth receptor then cells undergo mitosis will increase so increasing in number initially one or two re growth receptor is presented now multiply receptor here so after the stress multiply multiple receptor is presented so multiple growth factor will come and binding so after that it will producing more number of more number of cells increasing number not in size next coming to 
types uh, example physiological condition and pathological condition only increasing in number physiological condition first one is um, hormonal uh, hyperplasia uh, in this one hor that hyperplasia on female breast this one is the female breast uh, at uh, puberty three times it will increasing that uh, uh, size uh, during puberty time during pregnancy time and the lactation period it is made up of cells okay this one normally made up of cell during this three period of time it will increasing in size uh, because inside cell divided because of hyperplasia second enlarged size of uterus in pregnancy it is an example of physiological hypertrophy as well as hyperplasia both condition um, uh, it is the size of normal unpregnant uterus female uh, that female pregnancy after that because of inside fetus is presented fetus accumulate now so increasing that size how that uh, size of uterus increase because of cells presented in myometrium okay myometrium of that uterus they will undergo hypertrophy and hyperplasia also so it increasing myometrium undergo hypertrophy and hyperplasia so uh, both cell size also number also increase so it is example of both hypertrophy and hyperplasia next one is proliferation of endometrium after a normal menstruation period it having three layer okay it having three layer during menstruation that endometrium sheet off okay during that bleeding sheet off so that uh, layer become increasing in size it is doing hyperplasia every month after uh, that menstruation after every month men menstruation that uh, size of endometrium increasing in size because of that bleeding will happen <laughs> now coming to pathological hypertrophy endometrial endometrial uh, hyperplasia it is due to following estrogen excess here e e estrogen excess amount presented so inside that layer inside endometrium single layer here uterus of that lady excess amount of estrogen okay if any lady given excess amount of estrogen in the form of drugs or disease or food material it will come out of that body it causes stresses to endometrium so endometrium so increasing cell division will happen because of that bleeding will happen um so it is coming come from outside of that body it will cause stress to uh, okay these are the things comes outside of that body so it causes stress to endometrium so endometrium increasing increasing in uh, size okay increasing cell division will happen it will proliferate and form multiple layer or after that if such female presented that disease such disease is known as endometrial hyperplasia endometrial hyperplasia next disease condition formation of skin ward what is formation of skin ward that uh, human skin have uh, that human papilloma virus it is a sexual transmitted disease through sex this papilloma virus will enter to human skin it is a trust here that virus is the trust so it undergo hyperplasia condition it form uh, they will divided they will form small small spot okay so uh, small small nodal formation due to hyperplasia this is known as this one name is called as wart formation of skin ward from hyperplasia of epidermis due to human papilloma virus so what are the morbidology the cells increasing in number 
enlargement of affected organ and increasing mitosis of that cell.